in these problems, we're, we've got some concepts or ideas that maybe you haven't heard before. We're talking about number sentences and fact families. A number sentence is just, you know, what you say when you say out a, a mathematical problem, like 2 plus 2 equals 4. That's a number sentence. 5 minus 3 equals 2. That's a number sentence. And the idea is that these number sentences hang out in groups called fact families. So let's do 2 plus 1 equals 3. Oh, let me bring that down a little bit. There's one number sentence. You could write this in a slightly different way, but keep all the numbers the same if you just move the 1 and 2 around. So 1 plus 2 equals 3. That's still correct. And it's part of this family because all the numbers are the same. There's a 1, a 2, and a 3. And there's actually two more sentences number sentences that we can add to this fact family. If we start with the 3 and we use subtraction, 3 minus 2 equals 1. Still using just 1, 2, and 3. And then another one, you've probably got this one figured out already, 3 minus 1 equals 2. So those are the four number sentences that create the fact family around 1, 2, and 3. So those are the basic ideas. Let's see what the problems are saying. The first one says, which number sentence goes with 5 plus 3 equals 8? So we want to look for a number sentence that uses 5, 3, and 8. Well, the first one has a, an 8, a 5, and a 13. Well, 13 is not in our original, so that's not going to work. Our second one has 5 and a 1 and a 6. Well, 1 and 6 aren't in our original. That's not going to work. The third one, we've got 8 minus 5 equals 3. And like our, our first one, it uses just 3, 5, and 8. It is correct. 8 minus 5 is 3. So that looks like our answer. Let's just check D here. We've got 8 plus 3 equals 11. Well, no, 11 wasn't in our original. So even though all these other number sentences are correct in the sense that the math is right, they don't go with this fact family. So C is going to be our answer on this one. Let's look at this next one. It says complete the fact family. And we've got 5 plus 6 equals 11. And immediately I just look, I'm going to jump ahead over here and look, yeah, they did the one where they switched the two numbers around, add them and still get 11. So those two definitely are parts of this fact family. And then the other part would be the subtraction ones. And we've got 11 minus 5 equals 6. So to complete this, I just need to flip around the 5 and the 6 here and I get 11 minus 5, oops, 11 minus 6 equals 5 that would complete the fact family. It still uses just 5, 6, and 11, but it's the one that was missing. All right, one more. This one says, which of the following makes two addition facts and two subtraction facts using the numbers 8, 4, and 12? So we're looking for the fact family here for 8, 4, and 12. So if we see some other number other than 8, 4, and 12, we know it's not right. Let's look at A here. We've got 8 plus 4 equals 12. That seems right. 4 plus 8 equals 12. Good. Those are the two addition facts. And then 20 minus 12. Well, 20 is not part of this uh, original uh, number sentence, so no. Let's look at B. 8 plus 12 equals 20. 20 again. We don't want 20. Let's look at C. 8 plus 4 equals 12. 4 plus 8 equals 12. Okay, those are the two addition facts. And then we've got 12 minus 4 equals 8. And 12 minus 8 equals 4. All of those use just 4, 8, and 12. They're all correct. That looks like the fact family. And if we look over at D here, we notice it's got 20s in it, so we don't want that either. So that's a little bit about number sentences and fact families.